Hey everybody, Seth Davis here for SI.com. I'm giving you all of my conference breakdowns heading into the 2013-14 college basketball season. Today, we're gonna look at the rest of college basketball outside the seven high major conferences. We're gonna have a terrific crop once again of mid-majors all across America. Remember now, we've had a mid-major school in the Final Four each of the last four NCAA tournaments. It's a pretty good bet it's gonna happen again this season, but who will it be? My best mid-major team in America is VCU. I think this is going to be the best team that Shaka Smart has had at VCU, and yes, that includes the group that made the Final Four. He's had lots of good teams. The difference now is he can go legitimately 10 or 11 deep to really unleash his havoc full court pressure. They're bringing in a very strong presence in the front court, and Terrence Shannon, he's a transfer from Florida State. Trevion Graham is a big six foot five guard in the backcourt, kind of a Randy Foy type, who's a bit of an anomaly in terms of his skill set. He's a guy I think has literally first team All-American potential. The only question is a point guard, some things to iron out there, but it is a very small question. Given the array of talent that Smart is bringing back to VCU this season, it would not surprise me in the least to see them playing in Texas in April. As for my player to watch in the mid-major ranks, there's no C.J. McCollum's out there, nobody who you can look at and say is probably going to be a lottery pick, a top 10 NBA draft pick, but a lot of really good players. How about a guy like Tyler Hawes, six foot five, senior guard at BYU. He can really score the basketball. Averaged 22 points a game last season, scored 42 points against Virginia Tech. He can really light it up from long range, and BYU's going to need him to light it up if they're going to be able to hang with Gonzaga in the West Coast Conference. My dark horse pick in the mid-major ranks is Harvard. I think this could be the best team that the Ivy League has produced since Bill Bradley played for Princeton. Tommy Amaker returns seven of the top eight players who were on the team last season that beat New Mexico in the NCAA tournament. He also returns his best two players from two seasons ago. They are both seniors, but they sat out last season because of an academic suspension. And Amaker brings in the top recruit in the Ivy League, really one of the top recruits in America, in six foot nine forward, Zena Adasimwan. He had a lot of high major scholarship offers from the likes of USC, UCLA, and Texas. He chose to go to Harvard, and he will be part of an enormous collection of talent in the Ivy League. So that's my look at the mid-major landscape for college basketball heading into the 2013-14 season. I've been telling you for years, the world is flat. Just because the school is outside the big seven conferences doesn't mean they won't be able to get to a Final Four. I'm guessing at least one will be able to make that run again this year. It's going to be an exciting season all season long. Keep it right here on SI.com. We've got college hoops covered.